Welcome to Housing Development This Week, the only program that cares about your housing needs. According to recent statistics and reports, the housing deficit in the country stands at over 17 million. Despite this huge housing deficit, the mortgage sector has not been able to meet up with the needs of Nigerians. What can we say is the problem exactly? My name is Nomso Thoma. Thanks for tuning in once again. On the program this week, we shall speak to a mortgage service consultant who will take us through the challenges faced by Nigeria's mortgage sector. We'll also get into the street to know how much awareness is out there on how mortgage works. For our royal segment this week, we'll bring to you an expose on royal showrooms across the country. We also have news from Nigeria's housing sector as usual, and that will come your way just before we delve into the main issue of the day. Don't go anywhere. The University of Lagos Center for Housing and Sustainable Development has announced a partnership agreement with Fesadep Communications Limited, Nigeria's leading media company driving housing sector growth through multifaceted approaches encompassing TV, print, radio, online media, consultancy, and live interactive platforms. According to the statement by both parties, the key objectives of the partnership is to establish Fesadep Communications Limited as a media partner to Unilag Center for Housing and Sustainable Development, establish Unilag Center for Housing and Sustainable Development as a research and knowledge partner to Fesadep Communications Limited. Other objectives include to strengthen academic and non-academic media communications in the housing sector, recognize that each party is a strong stakeholder in actualizing effective outcomes for the other, co-organize events such as workshops, seminars, conferences, trainings on academic and non-academic platforms to promote housing sector activities. The Central Bank of Nigeria on Friday removed the cap on interest rates for mortgage finance by the primary mortgage banks effective September 9, 2019. In a circular to all other financial institutions in the country, dated September 5 and signed by Kevin Amugo, Director of Financial Policy and Regulation Department, the CBN said the subject to a maximum of MPR plus 5% is no longer applicable. The CBN in 2017 issued the guide to banks and other financial institutions to moderate charges on various products and services offered by banks and other financial institutions in Nigeria. Governor Abdullahi Sule of Nasarawa State has inaugurated the 1.2 billion Tal Orange Market Site and Services for Housing Scheme at Maraba Gurku Karu local government areas of the state. Governor Sule, while inaugurating the project on 7th of September, said this was part of the activities marking his 100 days in office. He said the project was geared towards providing housing and transforming the slum to regenerated city. And finally, Nigeria is set to host a maiden edition of Wood Expo from October 21 to 24, 2019 in Abu. The expo is being put together by top professionals in Nigeria's building and construction industry and has the theme Forest to Wealth. In a statement, the organizers said Wood Expo Nigeria was expected to create awareness and promote the sustainable use of wood and wood products, bringing value to wood specialists, wood manufacturers, wood equipment and machinery fabricators, and professionals by providing a platform to access quality trade and professional resources as a way of attracting required investment to the sector. I 
Guys, an interesting one there. Central Bank of Nigeria has removed the cap on interest rates for mortgage finance by the primary mortgage banks. Now, is this a good one for affordable housing? I believe time will tell. For more housing news, you can visit our portal at www.housingnews.org.ng. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Housing TV Africa, for more details of how you can own a home. Now, to take us further on tackling mortgage challenges in Nigeria as a way to achieve in affordable housing, this interview with Mr. Fonohomi Idris definitely has some answers. A mortgage is a legal agreement that allows you to borrow money from a bank or building society at a specified interest rate in order to buy or build a house. Interest rates on mortgage loans in Nigeria range from 15% to 25% per annum, excluding fees and other charges. The question which comes to mind is, with this sort of interest rate, can low-income earners honestly afford to take up a loan? There are a number of challenges affecting the mortgage industry in Nigeria. According to this mortgage services consultant, Mr. Fonohomi Idris, getting access to mortgage finance by low-income earners has become a challenge because of setbacks faced in the sector. The capital base, the low capitalizations of the mortgage uh, sector as we speak, as of December, uh, we have about 34 in the entire country uh, that is on board, that is active, based on CBN uh, announcement as of December 2018. And uh, out of those 34, we have less than 10 who you can find in the entire country, Nigeria. So it means by that, getting access to the so-called mortgage financing by the low-income people will be a challenge. Mortgages were specifically designed to make home ownership more affordable to the average Nigerian. But so far, that hasn't been achieved with the Nigerian mortgage system due to laws mitigating the growth and development of the mortgage sector. There are a lot of other laws mitigating the development and growth of the mortgage sector. And all of this has been sent for several years into the National Assembly, but the politics around it have not let it see the light of the day. So the mortgage bankers are playing their own politics. Uh, we give lip service to mortgage that uh, let's bring the poor out of poverty, let's, you know, but they are not seriously working on, this. on the way forward, Fonahomi says there is need to work around the various acts militating against the growth of the sector and also require accountability from players in the sector. They should work on those people who come under lip service. They are there for the masses. They should seriously be in the lookout for them. Coming under the guys that give us land, we will build for the masses. It has never worked. With sound policies, better data and increased access to affordable credit, it is believed an enabled housing market can increasingly provide housing that the average household in Nigeria can afford, reduce crime rate and create jobs. One of the most prominent features of your house is your roof. Your roof will tell how old your building is. At Plus World, we pride ourselves in having the expertise and products to bring your roof back to life. While other roofing companies suggest removing the roof, we restore the roof with warranty assurance. Let Plus World Roofing recoach your old and fading roofs and make your roofs brand new. Our products are eco-friendly and completely harmless to human and the environment. We offer services that will sustain your roof's integrity and by extension, your property value. This includes roof repairs and maintenance for residential, commercial and industrial properties. Our roof restoration solution saves you up to 70% the cost of replacing your roof. Contact Plus World Roofing today. Plus World Roofing. Why re-roof when you can restore? Once 
low income earners can comfortably access mortgage in Nigeria that will signify some level of progress in our quest for meeting up housing demands. Still talking about mortgage, let's take you into the streets to know the level of awareness the average Nigerian has about mortgage. Into the, this mud reach of a thing, this is my first time of hearing it. But I think with the little idea I have, I said it, it's something like having a home of your own. And my plans of having a home of my own is just being self independent, creating job for myself, at least starting something. The word mortgage, I think I got introduced to it in movie settings. I got to hear about it where you find a family probably at um, their old time stop because they are at the verge of losing their homes. So it was from there I decided to find out what it was and I discovered it was it was a legal, it has some legal backing to it though. I think you you more like offer up your building, your house for in exchange for probably money, most likely money. And um, if you don't meet up with the agreement, you get your home taken away from you or your building taken away from you. So that's what I see as mortgage. And I didn't like what I saw in the movie setting. So I don't like the word at all. I don't even intend doing anything mortgage with my home. Um, the word mortgage is actually is actually a financial institution or a cooperative society which helps in financing projects and having houses of your own. For example, in Nigeria. And, um, the contribution towards achieving those goals is like um, if the federal government can actually come in collaboration with CBN to like sponsor some um, property firms or sponsor the youth in owning properties of their own. A little I know about mortgage. I think the first time I heard that word was on Hollywood, one of their movie Money Yab Man. So Sam Loco actually was the one that uh, that used that word mortgage from there i began to find out what it's all about mortgage and i found that it had to be like a kind of business term that have to do with buying and uh, selling houses on loan or I, buying a house on loan uh, or trying to acquire uh, to sell your own uh, property on loan and that's a little I know about mortgage. Okay, mortgage is when you go to a bank. In the process of doing this, we have what we call a collateral. That is, it could be property, it could be land, it could be house, it could be just a landed property or something, which worth much more than the money or the money. So, should in case there's a default in you returning that money you've loaned from a bank, then you lose your interest. I mean, your interest over that property. Okay, mortgage. I don't really know much about mortgage. I just believe in, you know, saving towards that, you know, save towards owning a house of your own. My name is Dorothy Baziwe and I encourage you all to keep on watching the housing development program. Thank you. Boys on the streets there, a couple of them actually said they heard of Mortgage First from a movie. Quite interesting but obviously there needs to be more awareness on mortgage and how to access it. Now to the part where those interviewed in construction will be interested in. Royal Brand has been serving the needs of the building material industry in West Africa for a long time. This report takes a look at its exclusive showrooms in major cities across Nigeria. Watch this. Royal, a product of West African Ceramics Limited, which is a leading manufacturer of ceramic, vitrified and roofing tiles in Nigeria, has been serving the needs of building material industry in West Africa since 1995. Royal Ceramics' latest innovation, Royal Marbles, which is made in Nigeria with 100% local raw materials, is stronger than the natural marble, not as expensive as the natural marble and is also easy to maintain. 
The unique feature of Royal Marble is unlike natural marble, it is manufactured in a factory setup, in a manufacturing unit. 100% completely manufactured, made in Nigeria. Out of it, 93% of the raw material are also sourced in Nigeria. The marble is stronger than the natural marble. It, it is not as expensive as the natural marble. And maintenance is very, very easy. More uh, easier than natural marble. So these are the three key advantages. With a wide distribution network of 200 distributors, three depots across the country, Roya offers a countrywide presence for its consumers. In the first among industry peers, the company has partnered with its trusted distributors to launch Royal exclusive showroom. These showrooms display full range of Royal products, thus helping its consumers to view and choose a product of their choice, whether it is for residence or office. 17 showrooms have been inaugurated across major commercial cities in Nigeria, such as Nasarawa, Abuja, Aba, Port Harcourt, Enugu, Lagos, Oshobo, Jos, Makodi, Kaduna, Kano, and Sokoto, and lastly Meduguri, with more to come in the remaining part of the year. Alhaji Lawal Idrisu, Executive Chairman, West African Ceramics Limited, says Royals made in Nigeria products are better than the imported counterparts. It is 60% cheaper than marble and the quality is almost 99% the same. So we are talking about, this is marble actually. The showrooms are not just shops to display towels, marbles, grouts and adhesives. They also serve as an experience center where customers get to be entertained and get informed on product application. This means that the people located in the various states have the opportunity to enjoy the new shopping experience of towels and allied products the Royal brand offers. My name is Dr. Mrs. Hanato Adamufika. Actually, I'm a great fan of this uh, program. Every week, I stay back and watch uh, AIT to ensure that I listen to what they say. And I want to encourage uh, all Nigerians to watch this program. Welcome back and thanks for staying glued to your TV screen. For those in need of home ownership, here's a developer you can't go wrong with. Urban Shelter Limited has got you covered. Take a look. I think Urban Shelter's project is easily broken down into a few categories. Um, I think the bulk of our operations is centered on providing residential homes. Uh, in addition to residential, I think people may also associate us with providing retail. So one of the things we're kind of known for is the Great Key uh, Automotive Market, which we delivered quite a few years ago, actually, I think eight to seven years ago now. It's a very mature market, providing commercial spaces and retail shopping areas for people. We've also now working with AMAC really closely over the last one, two years to develop over 2,500 shops in the Apple resettlement area. We're calling it the Urban Apple Market. Um, it's wonderfully located. Again, access, excellent access road. We have over 70% subscription so far. We are handing over keys uh, in phases. Uh, for the first 1,000 batch and we also anticipate that in another six to eight months the last batch was also handed over. So we like to do a spectrum of things. We're currently really busy both commercial and residential space. I think facilities have to be key. It's kind of that crowning glory once you finish an estate because you have to remember that you're not just handling an estate and that's it withdrawing. You're providing a living environment that people can really feel they want to raise their families in. So what's important for us is landscaping. You know we have um, landscape architects whenever we're at the very beginning of our project so that we can really plan how to take advantage of the existing vegetation, existing flowers and greenery and things like that. So gardening and greenery is really important to us. I think it's essential. On some of our estates we have green sustainable solutions, but in particular the kind of bricks we use for buildings. So that's also another facility. And then getting into the more interesting side are the playgrounds. That's now becoming a standard in all of our estates. We ensure that there are playground areas for kids. Some of our estates have poolside areas as well, so they come with pools. Uh, the Bellevue Life Camp that I mentioned has a quite a sizable uh, clubhouse which provides, you know, uh, food, entertainment uh, in the evening, it becomes quite lively uh, in the afternoons, it's somewhere where families can gather, you can have mini birthday parties and so on and so forth. So it becomes a real community focal point. The standard for us are of course things like access roads, internal roads, power generators and so on. Those are 
those, those, those of course come you know uh, as per standard. We have a number of different payment plans and we came up with this kind of uh, different payment plans based on the type of units. So for instance if you're coming on from the affordable home section we try to actually give you a really relaxed approach to payment systems. So instead of offering you know we don't offer the 12 months or 18 months like, like a number of other developers. We like to offer five-year payment plans which is unprecedented. This five years there are no hidden charges, um, there's no mortgage that you have to pay. It's a standard payment that we spread it for you five years. I think what makes it even more interesting and by the time we finish the project at two and a half years, so that's between 24 and 30 months, we will allow you actually to move into the house. You can get a house at Urban Shelter Limited by calling the numbers displayed on your TV screen. Upon the completion of the 13th Abuja International Housing Show, which held from 23rd to 26th July 2019, participants, speakers, developers and heads of all housing bodies at the event agreed on a number of sustainable and important interventions that will bridge the housing gap in Nigeria. Below are selected 10 out of these resolutions that have been presented to the government and its several housing agencies for implementation. Creating enabling policies around land title documentations, with government playing a larger role in assisting investors and supporting local building industries and materials. Fast track the passage of foreclosure bill into law to legally resolve default issues in the sector. Also, the review of Land Use Act of 1978, Federal Government Housing Loans Board Bill, the National Housing Fund Scheme Act 1992, Mortgage Banks Act 1989, subsumed in both year, Federal Mortgage Bank of Nigeria Act 1993, the Trustee Investment Act 1962, the Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund Act 1993, the Insurance Act 2002, the Investment and Security Act 1999, the Federal Housing Authority Act 1990, securitization bill amongst many others. Advance the ongoing partnership between Mortgage Banking Association of Nigeria and the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, with regards to the underwriting standards which can increase housing and mortgage affordability for the masses. The adoption of high-impact training that supports research and data generation by major stakeholders within the industry. Building the right skill ecosystem through job-driven training programs spearheaded by private sector industry participation for adoption of trainees. Institutionalization of collaborations and partnerships between large-scale industry players to enhance mass housing provision and affordability. Creating standard database in African countries, especially in Nigeria, that can be universally accepted to collate data, identify data gaps, integrate, optimize and expand knowledge set to meet current demands. Policy creation, adoption and financing of sustainable buildings that utilize green approach in construction, which integrates topography into development. To set up an institution such as a National Housing Council to be the focal point for housing research, policy development and implementation, development of suitable housing economic models that fit into local context and monitoring of the housing sector. To resolve the challenges of affordability mismatch resulting in unsold and unoccupied developed houses, especially in our major cities, there is an urgent need for paradigm shift from market-driven pricing system to end-user driven pricing to ensure houses are provided for those who need and could afford them.
name is Robert Hornsby with American Home Builders of West Africa. Keep watching Housing Development Program. Time to draw our curtains for this edition. Remember to go subscribe to our YouTube page at Housing TV Africa for more updates in the housing sector. You can also follow us on Facebook and on Twitter at Housing Program. Like and share our posts. For those of you who want to be a part of this program or to advertise on it, you can send us a message on WhatsApp on our phone number on your screen or send a mail to the mail address Housing Development Program at gmail.com. My name is Nomso Thoma. See you soon. Thank you.